go. I've got a couple cool things today. I just wanted to share them with you. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. A uh, couple guys sent me some 1911 magazines. I appreciate that, man. Always welcome magazines, brother. I uh, got the uh, right there on the uh, on the left. Going to the right, I've got a uh, officer size ACMAG mag. A guy sent me, and another guy sent me a Kimpro Tac mag. And a, and a Les Bear magazine. Now I know you think you probably because it's a Les Bear magazine you think it's something really 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 special. Believe it or not guys in the magazine department as far as the Ed Browns and the Wilson Combats and the Les Bears I mean their magazines really ain't that special. I mean you know what I'm saying they're, they're top of the line but you think because the guns like 2500 bucks and up it's going to be some super duper duper magazine, and and it really isn't. It's just a, it's just a real good magazine. Uh, but like I say, um, believe it or not, I run in my Ed Brown. I don't even use the Ed Brown magazines in my Ed Brown. I run this Kim Protect mag in that Ed Brown. It just feels it just feels better. It feels better when I'm loading it. It feels better when it's feeding. It feels nice and smooth. You can feel the difference. Um. It's just a great magazine, these Kim Pro Tac mags. You cannot go wrong with these. They're really great magazines. And same with the Ac mags. I've been using the Ac mags in my um my new Kimber CDP. And uh, they feed real smooth. Now this is a Les Bear magazine. And if you look at the follower, it's very similar to a Wilson Combat magazine. It's got the same exact follower as a Wilson Combat. The body's different because the Wilson has the long windows in it. But uh, it's got the same follower. Pretty interesting. So there's a Les Bear magazine. I just wanted to thank them guys for sending me that stuff. That was really nice of them. Another guy sent me a Kydex uh, magazine pouch for a Glock. Real sweet. Uh, he's, uh, he makes his... Uh, looks like it's decent quality. Pretty strong. I just want to show him that I did receive it. Thank you very much. And I think the name of his company is, uh, what's the name of his company? Is, uh, TireOneHolster.com. Remember, dude, I can't read. T-I-E-R-1 Holster.com. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put his link under there. I think he makes good stuff. It feels like a good holster. I was really looking at it. And another guy sent me that really cool Mr. Potato Head Flyers. Mr. Potato Head. See? How cool is that? It's a fill it off your flyers. Ain't that cool? I love that. I will put that in the background as usual. e me. sorry. There is no such thing as a Mr. Potato Head for the Minnesota Wild because nobody even knows who the hell they are. Sorry, dude. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I changed my granddaughter's diaper yesterday for the first time. Because usually my wife's home before she shits. You know what I'm saying? And my wife got out of that one. I haven't changed a diaper in years. Years. My son's 24 years old. My daughter's 18. I haven't changed a diaper in years. And I'm like, well, I just heard a mud pie explosion. Was it a fart? Was it a poo? Chances are it was a poo. And sure enough, I've seen the little green edges around her diaper. And man, when I took that thing off, man, wh what is it? I never seen that green come out of a human being before. You see these baby shits now? It's like the afterlife green. You know when you you see these people they died and they went to the afterlife and they said colors are more vibrant in the afterlife and then they come back to life. It was afterlife green. 